seed for husband. Listen to this. So I want those ten, you, Papa, you said ten ladies. Papa, you said ten ladies, right? Those who are believing God for marriage. Come. Sexy apostle, come. Papa is calling you. In Jesus' name. So all you marriage. Hi. Papa only saw 10. This is how we will know. Papa, this is how we will know. Shh. This is how we will know that the 10 are the 10. And others will weed themselves out. <laughs> Somebody said, wow. <laughs> Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. If you have it, move forward. Move forward. Stand right here. A seed for 1,000. The 10 people come. Huh? Where are the 10? The 10 or? The ten. Ah, you quit your blessing. You, you, you have to make it happen. You got to make it happen. Yeah, don't don't try to sow next week. Sow your seed now. 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 You know, I'm following what God has spoken to me. And I usually say it even at home. If don't make a vow to God that you cannot accomplish, it's dangerous. You know, God, remember when I was teaching prophetic class, I was telling you that angels have no feelings like we do. Yes. If you say you do something and you don't do it, they will come for you. You know? God is a God who honors his vow. So if you're going to do something, make sure you can do it. Don't say you will do something and you don't. You just bring problems over yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't understand what he just said, this is how bewitching people, bewitchment works. You have to make them to pay the vow. You have to force them. This is a, an easy way that pastors lower members to sow the seed. Oh, don't, don't vow and don't, uh, uh, not even paying up. It's just uh, the cycle. They repeat this all the time. Every one of them. They know that people already come out to sow the seed. Then, then they will begin. Oh, if you know that you, you know, so that people outside the world will think, okay, they're genuinely doing this. Every one of them says the same thing. So now people have to sow seed to to get married. How much? One thousand dollars. And you all see how they were on, you know, having a little meeting without a mic. You know, trying to figure out how they're going to manipulate these people. And people in there hoping, believing that God is going to answer them. The thing about this Christianity, this new age Christianity is all about the belief anyone that prophesies is from God. That's all they, they, they think. That's why you see a lot of them falling in the hand of witches and wizards, sorcerers. Palm readers, you see them because this, these palm readers can call you a name. They can call you an address. They can do all this. Why are they bewitching people, stealing from people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Papa, can I just open for the other ones who also have anything first? But I'll bless these ones first. Wow. Okay. Is that okay? Do you Please see give that? me oil. Somebody give me oil. Can I give them a prophetic instruction that will sound strange, Papa? Is that okay? It will sound strange, but for all of you. When I anoint you, all of you, when you go home for this small time, you're going to go on your sink. You're going to open your water, running water. You're going to wash your face seven times. Speak water, wash your face first time, second time. And all you'll be telling the Lord is, thank you for renewing my presence in the world. Jesus. Uh, this, you guys are not prophetic enough. I thought I was. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for renewing my presence in the world. So that that 
what he just said don't make no sense. And this is just to tell you that you are under spell and also to confirm that the money that you sold don't make no sense. If a pastor or a prophet will tell you to sow a seed, then after sowing a seed, they give you a prayer book to go home and continue your prayers for that uh, uh, millions to come in. Or maybe they give you anointing oil or anointing water to go, go home and spread in your business, spread somewhere. That means the seed that you sow don't make no sense. They scammed you. It's obvious. But people are not seeing that. The people that always send uh, people home to go and buy, you know, take shower, do this, handkerchief and all that, are witch doctors, are witches. Witches will ask you, hey, bring me this. Then when you leave in from that witch house, they will give you something to go home as an enchantment. But people are not seeing. People are sleeping. And they're tripping off prophecy. Anybody that have the gift can prophesy. Whether you pray or you don't pray. If you have the gift, you can prophesy. That is what, that's why you see a lot of them, they cheat on their wife or they sleep around all the time. If you touch them in a, in a minute, they start prophesying. Because it's a gift. It comes without repentance. People don't know this. My people perish for lack of knowledge. If you follow this prophetic instruction, now your problem will be, who is the right one? So your seed can even dictate who is the right one. So now, after washing your face, you're still in trouble looking for who is the right one. People are not paying attention. They're going to sow seed of 1,000. They're going to go home and wash their face seven times. And he still have olive oil that he's going to pour in their hand. What is all this doing? And I still remind you guys how they were, you know, the three of them, you know, trying to communicate how we're going to scam these people, how we're going to rob these people. It's all about scam. Be aware, please. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whenever they say ushers, be aware. They are spiritually communicating with the people standing so that they will act like uh, there's anointing in that oil. Nothing in that oil. It's just uh, cooking oil. Thank you, Father, for the anointing that will break every yoke. Thank you, Father, for the anointing that will bring a new beginning. Thank you, Father, okay, this is for the anointing that will bring, that will a, new bring a new start. In the mighty name of Jesus, let everything be broken that is a stigma. Let things be opened in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, so he prayed for them, right? So why are you still going to go home and do the same thing? He used Elijah telling a, a, a king to go and dip himself. It's different. After the miracle, that was when the, prof, the, the, the king wanted to bless him. Why can't they allow those things to work like that? If you want to use a scripture, use the right scripture and do the right thing. Bewitchment is real. Make sure you do the prophetic instruction. Something has been shifted in Jesus' name. Amen. Papa, can we just help the others too? This is how they always manipulate people. Now he turned around to ask the Papa, can they add more seed? So you want him to say no? This is all plan. This is all manipulation. So you're, he want like, okay, let's hear what he's going to say. Let's just help. Bring whatever you have. Those who want marriage to just come. But find your best. Wow. Not one dollar. Mm. <laughs> My people perish for lack of knowledge. Why can't people of God, people of God, why can't you see this deception? Why? Why? This is so horrible. Just cannot believe people are seeing one this. Dollar <laughs> Come stand, stand, stand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour some oil on you. This is pure evil. This is pure wickedness. Say no to this devilish act in the body of Christ. I usually call them body of church. But this, if you, if you think that this is normal, this is good, this is from God, you have been bewitched. My people, please wake up.
this is what I have to share with you guys. But remember, keep on praying, keep on believing. God love you. Be faithful. Bye.